Hello students, this is Ashini from Chinta.com. In this video, we will learn about the geometric application of De Morgan's law. Let's quickly understand the problem. At the end of this video, I will also give you a challenge question. Okay, so the problem says that we have a rectangle A, B, C, D. And this particular rectangle is 5 units long and three units tall. What we did is that we rotated this rectangle about the midpoint of DC. So M is the midpoint of DC and we have rotated the rectangle about it through 90 degree. Maybe I can draw this rotated rectangle in pink. Okay, so now the question is this. If I shade the entire region, if I shade the entire region, what is the area of the shaded region? Okay, so how do we go about it? Notice that ABCD, even after rotation, will have the same area. So the yellow and the pink, both of them, will have the same area. What is the area of the yellow rectangle? It is 3 times 5, that is 15. What is the area of the pink rectangle? It's also 3 times 5, 15. The problem is this, that when you add 15 and 15, you are counting this overlapping region twice which you don't want to do because you just want the area of the shaded region. You don't want to over count. So if I could just find the area of the overlapping region, I would be able to delete that. I, I have counted it twice. So I would have deleted it once to get the area of the shaded region. So minus area of shaded region. I hope you understood why we are subtracting the area of the shaded region. Because we are counting it twice. We don't want to count it twice. That's why we are deleting one instance of it. Okay. All right. So now that we understand this, we have to just find the area of the shaded region and we would be done. Let's do that carefully. First of all, MC, this much, is only half of AB. That is, it's 2.5. MC is 2.5. And this point up, so this much, is just the rotated version of DM. So that is also 2.5. This point is D prime, suppose. Then D prime M is also 2.5. Therefore, this little overlapping region, maybe I can, uh, you know, color it in pink, this, this little region. This is a square. Why? Because this watch is 2.5, this watch is 2.5, and this angle is 90 degree. So it's a square. And what is the area of this square? It's 2.5 times 2.5. That is 6.25. That is the area of this particular square. So, if I wanted to remove the area of the shaded region, I have to subtract 6.25. So, I have 30 minus 6.25, which is 23.75. That's the final answer. Let's look at the options. This is option D. Okay, now let me give you the challenge question. It's based on the same principle that we learn in geometry. Set theory principle that we learned in geometry. Now we will apply it in combinatorics. It's a very beautiful thing. So, here is an application of the same idea. Suppose you have the numbers from 1 to 1000. All the whole numbers. How many numbers are there that are multiples of 2 
or 5? How many of them are there which are multiples of 2 or 5? The same principle will be applicable in this problem. Can you give it a try? And if you have the answer, put it in the comment section. If you like outstanding programs in mathematical sciences, Olympiads, research, leadership, then you can check the links in the description. We have beautiful programs toward them. Keep on doing good, good problems. Bye.